Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Chris Davis and today we are going to do a movie review. This movie review will be for Digimon Zero Two The Beginning. Now spoiler warning, if you have not seen the film and you don't want to hear any spoilers, please click off this video. And if you're still able to, if you can at all, go watch the film. I say that because this film was only out for two days in the States. So I don't know how any other way you can watch this film now because it was only out in the states for two days and i don't think it's on streaming yet um, but with that being said if you've already seen the film or if you don't care for spoilers please continue to watch this video with that being said let's get into it digimon zero two the beginning so overall i really enjoyed this film i liked it a lot i highly recommend viewers to watch this film especially if they're a fan of the Digimon franchise and more particularly fans of the first two seasons of Digimon. Digimon Zero Two The Beginning uh, this film really focuses on the new character Louie and his partner Ukomon. Now um, I like it but then I don't like it. I don't like it uh, because I wish we focused more on the Zero Two cast in this film and they're in this film prominently um, But they're not the main focus um, The main focus is Louie. Um, I want to say this movie's really starring him. He's the main focus in this movie So this film really starts off with a giant DG egg on top of a tower and Louis trying to scale that tower and we don't know the reason when we see him but <clears throat> Louis falls off Ken's partner Stingmon saves him and then that's when we really get into Louis backstory so with Louis backstory he grew up um, with a very rough childhood his father was on life support his mother was very abusive and his mother threw him outside in the cold because he wet himself when he was three. And that's when he met his first, he met his partner, Ukomon. Ukomon um, really turned uh, Louis' life around because he granted every wish um, Louis asked for. And his mother was nicer. Um, she stopped being abusive. His father was off life support and Louis had lots of friends and life was great. But that became the problem. Like Louis' life was perfect and there were no issues. Things were too perfect. And Ukumon was just giving him whatever he wanted when he wanted it. And it drew Louis insane. So he broke his digivice when he did a piece of it. Put, fell in his eye and ruined his eye. Ukuman took out his eye and gave it to Louis, which was very creepy. And then Louis tried to kill Ukuman. Now, another thing um, that was revealed um, in this movie was that Louis claims that he's the first Digidestin, and because of him all the other Digidestin have partners. Now, I have issues with this statement. They addressed it in the movie a little bit, but not in the way I wanted to. So they brought up some good points in the film that, hey, you can't be the reason why we're all Digidestin. Like, we all have our bonds because like we've worked on them, not because of you. Um, but the thing I really want to address is that Louis looks to be around the same age as Davis and if you've been following like the Digimon lore and the first like two seasons of Digimon with Digimon also Tri and Las Kuzuna, you know that Daigo and his former friend Maki and their team, they were the first Digidescent and they are way older than Louis and Davis. So his statement that he's the first Digidescent and that he's the reason why um, humans have Digimon partners, it's, contra it's contradictory because you have Daigo, you have Maki, they were the first like Digidescent and they are way older than Louis. So, his statement is just contradictory and 
if you viewers can like clear that up for me um, if there's something I'm missing uh, let me know in the comments section um, but <clears throat> I don't think there is anyway um, how the zero two cast um, hold on I'm getting ahead of myself so Louis revealed his backstory he reveals why he's going up to the tower because Ukuman's up there and Ukuman what he's going to do is he's going to grant Louis his wish by making every person or mostly every person on earth become a digidestin. This is bad because um, not everyone wants to be a digidestin and you can't force it on them. So Davis and the rest of the Zero Two gang have to um, stop Ukuman from doing that. And um, there's two ways that, like they're going to go about it. First, um, they explain to Louis that, hey, you and Ukuman did not have the best partnership, to put it lightly. You didn't have the best partnership. Uh, Ukuman was just doing everything for you and for you, for Louis. And a relationship can't be one sided like that. What Ukuman was doing was bothering Louis. Well, Louis, if something's bothering you, if Ukuman's doing something you don't like, then you have to communicate with you have to communicate with that with him. And that was the biggest takeaway I took from this film was um, how to build and develop relationships. When it comes to relationships, whether it's friends or families or a significant other, like it's not a one-way street, it's a two-way street. And like both people have to work at it, both people have to sacrifice, both people have to um, like give and take, both people have to listen and respect each other. And that's what Louis and Ukoman were lacking. Like they weren't communicating with each other about what they disliked about what their partner was doing. So they lacked that communication and um, they lacked the two way street. So the zero two cast, their biggest thing in this role was teaching Louie how um, to be a better partner to Ukuman and how they both need to develop like their relationship. So <clears throat> we see cool Digivolution sequences, upgraded ones from the for, from from 2000. Um, so upgraded, new graphics, everything. The DNA GG evolution um, looked really awesome. Um, so they take Louis to go see Ukuman. Louis communicates with Ukuman about what their issues are and what they need to do to fix them and Ukuman agrees he tells Louis what he liked about Louis but what he didn't like him granting Louis all those wishes the relationship being one-sided Louis constantly depending on him and needing him to do stuff and him not doing anything on his own and Louis was expressing well I was tired of you doing everything I wanted when I wanted it's like you didn't disagree with me on anything you were just like she's just saying yes to everything so they both agreed that um, they need to communicate more and it needs to be more of a two-way street like Ukuman is not going to be doing everything for Louis and Louis can like do something really nice for Ukuman um, more often Anyway, Ukuman tells him that he understands that what he's doing is wrong, but in order to stop him, they're just going to have to destroy him. So Imperial Jermon uses his like Mega Crusher cannon. Ukuman's destroyed, but you know, Digimon, they don't die. They just get reconfigured. He's reborn into a Digi Egg and um, Louis has his partner back and they can do their partnership the right way again. So overall, awesome movie. Uh, it's great if you're a fan of Digimon, especially the first two seasons, I highly recommend you watch this film. It's not just all action. See, there's something that you can take away from it. Uh, it's about 
how to build and develop like relationships. So overall, um, amazing movie. So that's all we have for today. If you liked what I had to share, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with all your friends, and all of you have a great day.